Hello, this is Chef Nico with Food Cravings. And today I'm going to show you my take on a classic dish. Oven roasted chicken. And since this is my take on it, I'm going to be using my very own special blend of herbs and spices, along with one key ingredient which will help you get that classic golden brown look evenly throughout. Here I have about a four and a half pound chicken, which I'm going to wash thoroughly. First by sprinkling a bit of lemon juice on it and some white vinegar, along with some water. Since both lemon juice and vinegar are natural disinfectants, this will help remove that extra gamey scent from the meat. Once the chicken is washed thoroughly, we're going to transfer it to our work surface using a paper towel, which has been doubled in order to remove that extra moisture. It's important you get all the nooks and crannies like underneath the wing, the drums, all of that. Once I finished, I decided to go in for a closer look, just to make sure. And you know me, I just can't seem to be thorough enough. Here I decided to dry it a bit more. Next we'll flip the chicken over, this way we could dry the other side, and I'll remind you again, that when you're drying the chicken, it's extremely important to get all the little nooks and crannies around the legs, the wings, the breast. You want to make sure that this bird is really dry. And once that's in the oven, this will help with the crisping process. Here I was just flipping it over again, single-handedly. As I felt the chicken through the paper towel, to me it didn't feel dry enough, so I started drying it again. And once I was satisfied with just how dry it was, I decided to prepare my seasoning, but before that, I'm going to give you another pro tip about how to work with chicken, and I'll discuss that more on my blog. So after you finish watching this video, go read that. Now we're going to go ahead and sprinkle the chicken liberally with kosher salt. And all that is, is of course sea salt. Next I'm going to go ahead and drizzle on some peanut oil, making sure it's evenly covered, just like that. And of course work that in all around, using my hand. I even spread it in and around the cavity. Then I decided to flip the bird so that I could evenly distribute the oil underneath the wings as well. And once that was done, I proceeded to take some coarse sea salt and sprinkle the backside generously. And I know what you may be thinking, man that's a lot of salt. And then I started rubbing the salt in more, under the wings and all over the legs. Here I flipped it over again, taking a minute to observe the chicken entirely, just to see if the salt had drawn out the moisture from the skin. Surely enough, this method looked like it would work, as my instincts were correct, and it did. So if you're scared about using salt, don't be, because due to its atomic weight, kosher salt is less saltier than regular table salt. And, had I not used this method, we couldn't get crispy skin. So I placed it in the refrigerator overnight. And by the next day, half the moisture was gone, leaving me with a drier, stiffer skin. And just by looking at it, I knew this chicken was going to be completely crispy. Next, I assembled the dry rub. I added some cumin, coriander, paprika, and fenugreek, along with some rosemary. Then I was looking for some more herbs to add. And here I realized I had some thyme, so I added it. In this case, thyme is just thyme, not money. Finally, I was able to add one secret ingredient and all the herbs together along with the spices, and that's soy sauce. So since I had some time, I was stuffing the bird with it, along with the rosemary. I guess that's kind of like buying time. Or is it? So then after continuously stuffing and restuffing, I decided I had enough, and it was time to tie the knot using butcher twine. So I worked on getting my knots squared away by making a loop around and over, then tying the leg of the bird, and then bringing over the other half of the string to do the same to the other half, and then giving it one final tie to bring both legs together. By doing this, what happens is you decrease the chances of the skin tearing at the joint on the top by the bottom of the breast to the side of the leg. Now it was finally time to give it the last tie, and so I did really securely. Once tied, we will pop this into a preheated 350 degree oven, 
for about an hour or until golden brown. And through the miracle of time, our chicken is now done. Oh man, isn't that just gorgeous? Look at that. Nice and golden. The skin is crispy. Wow. So it was time to plate it up. And I usually like to enjoy this over rice. So I carved up half the chicken and placed it over rice pilaf, which I had made a few moments before. Also right there below the wing, you see I already snagged a little piece and it tasted really, really juicy. Wow. This method really works. And that's Chef Nico style. I hope you've enjoyed today's recipe for oven roasted chicken. For more info and ingredient amounts, please visit www.chefnico.blogspot.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you. See you soon.